Hello everyone, today is probably going to be a short stream probably because just had a lot going on today and just leveling destruction. And uh, yeah, doing arena skims, and that is the plan. Destroyed. Yeah, I'm leveling some destruction today, pretty much. So that is the plan. Uh, learning destruction as I go. I'm currently level 57. Although I have videos of, you'll probably see warlock videos still lower level eventually because I'm so behind on videos. But yeah. But destruction has finally got broken me to the point. I, oh yeah, also, quick update to those that will see the video in the future, because I know not a lot of people are here right now. Uh, I did get my warrior to 60, and uh, probably going to abandon it, not going to lie, but I did have another 60, so I only have a three non-60s left. No, wait, I think I have two non-60s left, and this is one of them. I'll probably end up hitting 60 today, and that means one class left. Other than cancer, is there anything worse than rogue? <laughs> yeah, I don't, like, as much as I want to say other classes, um, I don't think so. I think I'm always going to hate rogues more. Yeah, yeah. D Destruction has kind of, like, gotten got to that point. Started to play Shadowlands, got my lock to 60 yesterday, but not sure if I wanted Hunter or lock. Yeah, it can end up being like me. Who has just gotten so bored of playing the same two to three tunes all the time. So I am trying to gear some more alts at 60 to play. But uh, yeah, it's rough. Very rough. But I am trying. Just queuing some skims while I learn how to play uh, Destruction right now. I tried getting battlegrounds all day today. Well, not all day, but because uh, I had something else going on. But um, ever since I've been on, and Horde have been getting destroyed, so trying to learn through skims, which probably might be better to learn anyways. Uh, currently also at level 57, so I'm about three levels away. I think they're trying to decide who to go on. Probably gonna be me if I had to guess. They are pretty scared it looks like.
Oh, that was some good damage right there. I just needed an immolate on him. I don't have shadow burn, so I can't inst- Oh, that sucks. I can trigger this, I guess. I'm gonna fear. And then we should get one more chaos bolt off, and he should be dead. And if not, then immolate. And perfect. Oh, before I forget, I do- I should show my talents. I'm running this as my build. I gotta use my uh, covenant ability more often. It hasn't, I haven't really built it into my brain yet, so eventually I'll try and get that <laughs> built in. So, so I know I'm still uh, adjusting to destruction right now, but this is what happens when you play 12 classes, so you just gotta relearn everything. So what would you say is the safest class for every content of the two classes? Um, for all content, probably Hunter. I feel like Hunter is always a safe choice. It's a really popular class too. I know Warlock is insanely strong for solo, same for Hunter. Uh, and they're both insane for PvP right now. But uh, I think Hunter overall is probably the stronger choice. I don't know how Warlocks are doing in PvE right now, but um, I think Marksman and Survival are doing really, really well, and Beastmastery is like totally garbage right now in PvE, but uh, all three Hunter specs are strong in PvP, and uh, same for um, Warlocks, I believe. What about Druid? Druid is pretty much good in all uh, everything as well. You might have like this, like, Ferals have it rough because people always like say, oh, you're a feral, I shouldn't invite you to raid battlegrounds or anything. But boom, boomkins are usually always pretty good. Uh, feral, if you're really good, you can still do pretty well, but you'll just have the issue with people are not inviting you because you're feral. And guardian droid is like always popular. But yeah, I'd say Druid is pretty much uh, good in all content as well. My main is Boomy and I love Druid. You speak the truth about Feral though? Yeah. As somebody who main Boomy a long time and switched Feral Druid into Shadowlands, it's just, it's the way it is. People just, it, it people trash uh, Feral. Even though you, you could be an amazing Feral and you still won't get invited just because you're Feral. Hey Don, how's it going? Just love when the Warlock.
But yeah, destruction is definitely something. Just <laughs> I even kited both of those warriors. That's just I don't know how I did that, but that was actually pretty dang nuts. I had a few warlocks kite my uh, death knight pretty hard the other day, surprisingly, with their portals. But yeah, I just got to the point where I just wanted to level my warlock, and so far it has been something. Right now I'm just practicing in arena skims uh, while leveling, because I feel like it's probably more better to practice that way anyways, and I did try several battlegrounds, and um, it was just, <laughs> it was pretty bad. Eric, thanks for the 10, man. Keep up the great work. I will trust me, I will, man. I will for sure. If you play Feral and want to do some mythics, they are going to ask if you are balanced. If they don't invite my experience in Legion BFA, 100%, yeah. Even when I was balanced druid and queuing up for um, mythics in uh, Legion, I was asked every single time, are you balanced? And I'm like, oh boy, these poor Feral druids. <laughs> Evening, good luck on leveling. The lock leveling is always my favorite part. Oh, it's my least favorite part. But then again, I do think of all the stuff that awaits me at 60. Eric, again, welcome back to the, uh, welcome to the, uh, member. I was gonna say welcome back because I was gonna do my freaking intro. <laughs> welcome to the, uh, member squad, Eric. And thanks again, by the way. My brain's a little bit out of it, so I do apologize because I was at the doctor's today, so if I seem a little bit out of it and tired, yeah, I'm just blaming it on that, just as a heads up. So I don't know how long I'm probably going to stream today. Play Chatlands for three months after release and then left. I'm considering coming back down. Is it worth it? I just want to feel like doing some random battle rounds now and then. Are you talking? Uh, I like, are you wanting to do only battle rounds and not just do raided? Like, are you just talking like straight up random backgrounds, no raided or anything? then you'll probably be in for a rough time, just complete honesty. Um, the gear gap between a full geared player and just somebody who randoms is probably about 25 to 30-ish item level difference. And a lot of the people that are randoms now are usually duelist people. So you'll probably get slaughtered by some high ranked rated players. That's like the best way I could put it. As somebody who only random bar well, not only random barrels, but only loves to do randoms more than anything in the game. That's just the way uh, randoms are currently right now. Uh, man, you're awesome. I love seeing new dedicated YouTubers trying to make it. You do great work and release great content. I believe in you, man. Thanks, man. That means a lot. I found the fact that the fastest leveling is a mix of Battlegrounds plus Dungeon Q. Um, for me, um, I usually just Battleground level and then sometimes quest during it. I used to only Battleground level, but I started doing some more quests again. Uh, 
uh, no problem. And I'm glad you enjoy the content. Currently just three levels away from 60 on yet another tune. For anybody that uh, didn't hear earlier, I currently got my 60, I mean my warrior to 60 last night. So I have another 60. I got him up to 233 item level. And then, I won't lie, I don't know if I'll continue gearing my warrior. Uh, but I did get a new 60 warrior. <laughs> don't know why, because warrior is technically kind of my, my least favorite thing to play on the, but... I did, and then now I'm currently leveling my Warlock, so my Warlock and my Shaman are my last two classes that aren't 60. Although technically, like three or four 60s I have are kind of on shelf duty and not playable, so they might as well not be 60, but yeah, <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. Two hunters. I'm trying to kill the marks as fast as possible. Unless he totally one shots me, then that would suck, but we'll see. Oh, he's not running camo. He got spell reflected in his own trap. There we go. I'm actually surprised that I don't live that marksman hunter. <laughs> marksman hunters are actually very, very tough to go up against. I got hit by a 50k aim shot. No, I got hit. Yeah, basically I got hit by 50k by a hunter in like two seconds the other day. It was actually crazy. Use a full gear duelist hunter. Something I'm super excited for once I do hit 60 though, is I can't wait to test out Shadow Rift in Epic Battle Rounds. Using it in like AV Towers or Ashran is going to be nuts. I could see so many good plays with this. I've been actually hit by good plays with it, so I'm looking forward to testing out Shadow Rift uh, in Battle Rounds 100%. That's like the one thing I'm excited for once I hit 60 on this tune. Kind of sad how like something so small like that could actually just make me like excited, but um, gotta think of some small stuff to have fun.
I still got my buff. I still got my buff. Probably shouldn't have let him restealth there, but whatever. Get it off. No, eh, it's fine. Made him run away. Oh, didn't even have to use my health stone. I can't wait to also get more haste and versatility. I have like no versatility, and my haste is obviously low because I'm not 60 yet. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to those fast chaos bolts. Waiting for him to get back, and then we're gonna queue again. What's the quickest way to gain some item levels? I'm currently 218 and want to get better gear for PvP. Um, other than the getting your double legendary and the 262 piece from the auction house, um, those are the three fastest things that I would say. And then after that, it's just pretty much the get your honor gear to max um, item level and then just do conquest gear for uh, and get your rating up. That's the two um, ways, to, or the best ways to go. Or at least that's how I do it. Everybody else might be different. Like for some people, if they're lucky and have somebody to help you, you can uh, you can just do arena and don't have to get your honor gear max rank. Uh, but it'll be a lot harder. But for me, my way on how I gear my alts is get my double legendary and my 262 ring first and then uh get my honor gear up there starting with the weapon and then uh after that it's just pretty much grind conquest yeah legendaries are in my opinion are the most important thing first legendaries in tier are just so important in this expansion that without them i feel like you just like you get left behind in my opinion like legendaries tier set and depending on a class with weapons, they just make so much of a difference. 
Why 262 and not 291? I'm talking about the uh, I'm talking about the gear, not the legendaries. The um, there's a 262 crafted piece you can make. Only one slot. You can't have more than one. I usually go for the ring. I'm not talking about legendaries. Uh, you'll want 291 legendary, of course, but yeah. I would show you, but I'm not on a tune that has it right now, unfortunately. I'm amazed this guy gets literally out of stealth every single time we faced him today. completely butchered this thank you for the for all the advice yeah no problem like I said though everybody's different but yeah that's what I usually do I think I'm dead here the rogue's still alive too no I butchered my rotation so bad that match oh well if he can kill the rogue, he, he'll still be able to win this. I should have done that way better. I really didn't do that that great. He can 1v1 the mage if he kills the rogue. But the rogue got a reset, so he's probably dead here. The rogue's eating now. And the rogue has evasion up. There's evasion. Good fear, actually. That was a good fear. And there's vanish. And unfortunately, he's dead here. It was a good try. It was a good try. He would have definitely won if it was um, a 1v1. Yes, we knew at that point. <laughs> I knew <laughs> I was probably gonna get to the point of Destro at one point. I know you're gonna say Agor. I know it. I reached that point. I know. Oh man, I could kill that 9k priest right now. But I won't, because I'll feel bad a little bit, but... She's already almost dead anyway. She's dying to trash mobs. Time to push rank one as Mage Destro. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I've always wanted a glad mount in this game, but I just don't ever see myself getting one Arms warrior
We could totally do it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I know. Trust me. Like I said, I've always wanted to get it, but I just, I've never been able to. Alright, time to 1v1 an arms warrior. Alright, I'm all set up. This guy is playing Necro Ward. Oh, he left. <laughs> I guess he didn't want to go for the 1v1. That comp is more Mongo than me. I've faced so many of them, trust me, I am well aware. I wanted to go for a 1v1 there, but whatever. How can I, As the queen I still have to gear this too, anyways, so that's going to take me a while. Oh, I forgot to do this quest. Whatever, I'll grab it real quick. Yeah, I think Frost Mage Destro is like as stupid as like Mage Rogue in my opinion. Um, if you're killing Battlegrounds, I'll join in. At the moment, we're just doing arena skims, but we could do we could do Battlegrounds, I guess. We kind of gave up on Battlegrounds because we were getting rolled so much as Horde. I think we're just gonna do arena skims for now. Quick, quick, quick. Was it 30? Oh, it's only 30 anyways. Go, go, go. Before I miss the queue. Gotta be fast. Come on, come on, come on. Seven seconds. Hurry. Dang it. I don't know if I reached it or not. Did I reach it? I only got 28. Well, whatever. Try to be fast with that. I didn't want to miss the queue. Two Beast Mastery Hunters. He's gonna trap. For the pet. And for your hunter. He has bolts. And he should die here. There we go. Definitely need more haste. Got way too low haste in this bracket. But then again, that's the whole point. Six we all get all that haste. But yeah, the haste is definitely a little bit low in this bracket. It doesn't help I don't have a lot of verse either.
Thank you, TNT, for the t uh, for the ten. Man, I really need to work on my speed uh, speaking skills today. I'm so out of it. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I don't want to die to a freaking rogue. Anything but a rogue. Get me the heck out of here, please. Get the heck out of here. I ain't trusting anybody, man. There's like stelters everywhere. Saw Dalaran's dual stream, and it appears Distralock is the way to go. To be honest, anything could like really be good in those. I've seen a bunch of different videos of, on Dalaran sometimes where he just posts like all these bunch of uh, specs that do well. But yeah, destruction is on like S plus tier right now. Destruction is really, really broken. I would say they're probably the broken, the most broken caster in the game right now. And then I'd say Frost Mage after them. In my honest opinion. Going away for Dragonflight to play again was a pain to get 2.1 this season. 100% I agree with you. I have gotten two tunes to 2.1k right now, and it's just, it's so bad. It's so bad. That's why I fight really hard to get rid of those rating requirements. I never ever think that rating requirements for PvP gear should ever be a thing. I think it's the worst system ever, and I think Shadowlands kind of speaks for itself because nobody plays other than like the super, pe unless people like me who are just too stubborn to quit and like stay around. But yeah, there's a reason why everybody quits and they just don't like the rating requirements. It's just, it's so bad. I feel like Arena should be like rewards, like obviously stuff like Gladiator mounts, Elite sets. Uh, the enchants like the purple enchant and the green enchant, the red enchants, you know, stuff like that. But I, I never think uh, rating requirements should be a thing for PvP gear, ever. It won't let me do it. There we go, finally. Okay. Oh, he's not even... Well, I don't know what he's doing. You know what's funny? I always try to honor 1v1s and they still don't... And some people just don't really want to. Me too. My DK and Hunter thought I would drop by and say hello. Have fun, amigo. Um, nice to see ya. Nice for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Arrow, for the top content. Regards from Sweden. Thanks, man. That means a lot. Almost 58. Then that means two more levels to go. And then I have to go for legendaries again. 
Oh my god, why do I do this to myself? I really wish I knew why I did this to myself. But... Gotta gear another tune, I guess. I don't know. I guess I just can't help it because I like playing alts. I've said this in so many videos. Alts are just what makes the game fun. I played my Druid and Demon Hunter for so long, I just needed, I guess, a, something to play. Something else, you know? Although I do admit I've been loving my uh, Death Knight, so... I would say my Death Knight's probably my third thing, uh, favorite thing to play right now. Your head and edged is... There we go, finally done with Night Bay. I can leave this zone. Favorite class? It would be Druid. I've been obsessed with Fury recently. It just locked behind rating to get past 272. I feel that. That's what. It, it's so triggering when, like, the only thing, like. Because I like to be somebody who's, like, done and just enjoy the rest of the game. But when you feel like you're locked behind something and you feel the pressure because you have to get, like, get to the next step. It's, like, it's such a pain. <laughs> I re I got my uh, warrior to 60 last night and I tried gearing him up, but um, I didn't have much success. So he might get shelved just like my rat and my windwalker, unfortunately. Uh, sure. How do I get my legendaries? Um, you have to get your recipe wherever it drops. For example, let me use this tune as an example. So, I'm level 58 now, right? And at level 60, I already know what legendaries I want. The legendary I want is going to be Madness. And you can see the source uh, is the world drop from the boss. So just find your source, and then you can grab the stuff to make it. Okay, so I don't get why so many people quit. Um, it's just, it's a bunch of different things. There's not really like one specific reason as to why everybody quit. There's a bunch of reasons. I don't really hard push rating either, so it's just DPS 2s. Yeah, I refuse to play with a healer. I, I Well, okay, I don't refuse, but I prefer double DPS, personally. When I play one class, I always want to play another. It's hell. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that's how I feel, and thus, that's how I play 12 classes. And why my channel is pretty much based around that. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, uh, Eric, just, yeah, find uh, what legendary is where it drops. Like, this one, for example, drops from Torghast. This one drops from World Boss. This one drops from the Raid. This one drops from Dungeons. You know, stuff like that. It, it's, you just gotta find out where it is. Um, Unity is the one you can actually put uh, as your second legendary. You can't put double legendary on any of these, just in case you don't know that. Uh, you can wear Unity. And you can wear any of the other ones. Anything else. Yeah, I know, Gore. That's the reason why I'm leveling this lock, by the way. I saw the bosses up this week. And that's the only reason why I am... Uh, why I'm leveling this tune right now. Yeah, uh, the Legos you can get 291. Like, say, for example, this tune isn't even 60. I can get 291 le legendaries right away. I love WoW, but have you tried Elden Ring? It has... It has me a hard in these states. No, I've never played the game. 
I'm not really into those kind of games. I usually play games like Kingdom Hearts, Persona, uh, Yakuza, um, those kind of games. Thoughts on making rep slightly more attainable in the event. I think they should make the rep in the new zone easier because that rep, rep is a pain in the behind. People disagree and say it's easy, which I guess in some ways it is because you only have to do three world quests in the weekly and the world boss every week. But um, I think they should make the rep easier. And I have the revered legendaries, so I don't even need it. But um, yeah, my opinion, of course. Welcome aboard the two-shot train, my friend. <laughs> Honestly, I could play a lot more classes that could just two-shot people, too. Marksman can do it. I've seen Reds obliterate people. Um, Frost Mage can destroy people as well. So, it's not just destruction, but... Um... Alright, he wants to want to do gun. 21k rep to be able to upgrade the belt to grind. You know, it's not even just that, right? But, um... Um... If you uh, want the extra conduits, which are friendly and revered, to get higher conduits, then you have to get your rep again on alts. I only go to friendly on my alts to get 226 conduits. Those big crits on any class are why I play. Yeah, I know. There's people that like big crits, so... I completely understand. Big damage is always nice. I forgot to make my freaking hearth the new zone. Oh my god, why why do I do this? Well, that should tell you how much I play my Warlock. I haven't made the hearth in, <laughs> in Shadowlands yet. That's awkward. And I'm wearing, still wearing the heart, uh, the heart of Azeroth, so it freaking takes away my honor talent every single time. Nothing better than uh, I'm about to ruin this man's day button. Yeah, pretty much. Why did I walk here? I switched my red to horror and had my hearthstone silver moon for like a week <laughs> yeah only low levels at this point have the zul Dazar hearth because i keep forgetting to switch to my uh i keep forgetting to switch the um hearth here that's why i play mage now hearth means nothing when i can teleport anywhere i want yeah not every class is that luxury though i do play my mage but there's still other classes in the game there, at least now I don't forget. This is coming from somebody who wants to main their DK next patch. Or season, I should say. Yeah, he's a Frost Mage. He loves Frost Mage and Frost DK. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the Paladin first. I should have put down my stuff first. I messed that up. Did you really bubble?
I have not played WoW in about five years, but Shadowlands seems kind of fun. Could I gear tune in just through PvP? Yes, you can gear tune through PvP. But depending on what you want to do in PvP is the question. If you're talking about just randoms, you'll probably have a rough time. But if you're talking about you want to do rated stuff, then yeah. You can do uh, raid, uh, just through PvP. And yeah, it's it's a it's a long grind. You'll have to do like a few PV stuff, but it's not really as bad as you think it is. Uh, kind of. The only PVE you'll have to be do you'll have to do is uh, get your double legendaries. That's the only PVE stuff you have to worry about. I get attached to other classes every other day. Yeah, I get that feeling. <laughs> I haven't played my Druid and my Demon Hunter in, uh, in like a few days now. Or say probably more than a few days because I can't, I can't stop playing alts. First, I geared my Death Knight and played him for four days. Then I geared my Warrior. And then now I'm gearing my Warlock. Can you still buy gear with Honor? Yep. Honor is like the main thing you're going to be w focusing on. Because once you get honor, you have to upgrade the honor gear seven times. Then once you get your conquest gear and you get your rating up, then you'll have to use honor to upgrade the conquest gearing. Uh, which is about nine times. Technically eight, but it goes up nine times. I leveled 20 through 60 from only bower guns and dungeons. Forget the quest lines. <laughs> Everybody has their own style of how they level. No problem. If my lock was 60, I'd show you, but uh, I'm not 60 yet. And I'm too lazy to switch right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little bit confusing, but I'm pretty sure once you get back into it and learn it a little bit, it'll get more, uh, you'll get the gist of it. Usually people that kind of come back are get overwhelmed at first, so. The beasts of Bastion lack the discipline of the Kyrian. Perhaps... The dungeon you get like 20k experience each and then you get more experience as you level. I don't know if I can handle dungeon leveling. I think since you've been also gone for so long, you could probably boost a tune if you get the expansions, if I remember right. I could be wrong about that. So, depending on if you just want to go straight to the end game, you could do that too. Because expansions always come with a boost and all that stuff. Oh, well, there we go. We got the hunters, man. Uh, I used to play Red Pallet, Enhanced Shaman, and Affliction Lock. I don't know who to go first. I would pick anything out of that, uh, in that list other than Shaman. Shamans get screwed over by Blizzard so much, I just never find it worth it. That's the reason why mine's not even 60 yet. It's going to be like my final class not hitting 60. They just get screwed so hard by Blizzard. I mean, I don't think Enhancement's bad right now, but it's just their... Uh, 
They have a history of getting abused by Blizzard. Ellie's good at the moment. Yeah, Ellie's good, but he's talking about enhancement. Um, am I doing an arena for experience or honor? Um, I'm doing it for just testing out Warlock and learning it. I've been maxed honor capped for ages, but I can't buy anything because I'm not 60, so I'm just learning destruction. It's basically just practice. I look at it as I need to practice destruction for when I hit 60, so... Oh. <sighs> oh, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. I'm dead. Imagine using Convoke against a freaking undergeared warlock. That druid. I I I honestly am impressed at her uh her determination to camp in Bastion 24-7. I'm actually really impressed. Maybe once I level a character, we can maybe do battle rounds. Yeah, maybe. Wow. I just want to kill my elite, man. Why can't you just leave me alone? Oh, boy. I'll come back to this later. Ugh. Yeah, for anybody that doesn't know, that druid who just ganked me is a very, very... Pup she camps here 24-7. That, that's all there is. When she get when she gets the bounty, she sits on that ledge over there, and she, she just knocks people off 24-7. She taunts people because nobody can kill her because that's a neutral zone. She stands on it here. Let me show you guys. She Because she's here in this zone 24-7, right? She'll literally stand right here on this ledge... To where you're met, where you're PvP flagged, and not in the spawn zone, and she'll knock you off the cliff, and she can't ever die because she'll just step in here or anything like that, and that's what she does. She does all day. She doesn't have the bounty right now, so I'm assuming she's just killing whatever she sees, and uh, yeah, that's her gameplay. <laughs> so, yeah, she's a very well-known person. It, the forums don't really like her. It's really funny. She's that's the only reason why I know her. That's cringe. Yeah, it's it's her gameplay. She sits in Bastion twenty four seven. I never see her anywhere else. Every time I come to Bastion, she has the bounty on. So the fact that she doesn't have a bounty up yet must mean she just logged on and is now getting the bounty. So. It's so unfortunate, but yeah, I'm not gonna. Uh, if she's just gonna camp there, I'm not gonna go for the elite. There's no point. I can't solo a 60, obviously, so. There's not much point in that. Sounds like zero fun. Yeah. I, I would honestly say that, but hey, it's her choice. She pays for the game. She can do whatever she wants. Might have to spend an entire day and only look for her and gank her until I'm blue in the face. Good luck. You won't be able to kill her. I tried. Actually. That's a lie. I did kill her once. I did. I had a big brain plan that actually worked and I killed her. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how I did it, but I did kill her once. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're gonna, ha you're gonna probably be so bored within like 10 minutes because she's just that kind of player. Oh, this guy is just, oh, he's solo. I was wondering why we were waiting. I'm just gonna kill him. What server am I on? Uh, I'm playing... My realms are Duskwood slash Bloodhoof because Bloodhoof is connected to uh, Duskwood, so I have some tunes on there, but Duskwood's pretty much my main realm. Bro, I really want to kill that stupid elite. Should I do it? I'm too impatient. I want to kill my elite. 
she she look i knew it see she got the bounty let's see what she does now i'm interested to see what she does she finally has the bounty what's she gonna do with it is the question i'm too good at like i, I just i know what she does because i've seen it like happen billions of times Okay, dope. Thank you, Arrow, by the way. I love the streams. Keep them up. Thanks, man. Glad you enjoy them. Yep, there she goes. She's going back to the spot. At least now I'm free to do the freaking elite quest, finally. Uh, I don't have my cooldowns because of the arena, though. That's unfortunate. God, I finally got my quest done. I'll come check it out what she's doing later. Alright, time to 1v1. I'm gonna go to another word for this. I feel like Bonds is probably better against Melee. Alright, she's about as similar geared as I am. I feared his pet, I feared his pet, and then he should die here. Can't interrupt me. There we go. Big brain fear. I could have banished his fell hunter, but I just decided to fear it instead. Whatever. Still works. Alright, let's see what Iberb is up to. Oh man, big surprise, look, she's in the neutral zone. She can't be attacked, see? Look at this guy. Oh man, I, I can't, I, her play style is just so boring. I really couldn't do that all day. I really don't know how she does it. Whatever. If that's what she wants to do with her time, that's just what she wants to do. <laughs> really impressed why she wants to do that all the time, but you know. Whatever she wants to do, it's her sub. I'll go get my hellstone up. In case I get ganked. At which temple did you train? Go in Slowly reaching closer and closer to level 80. I mean, to <laughs> level 60. Why did I say 80? I don't know what it is, but I always seem to get the alliance shards. I don't know why. 
anybody else in chat plays still, do you ever feel like you get the opposite shard of your faction like 24 7? Because that's what I feel like. Oh, look, another alliance. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I always get the alliance shards. I can't even feel like I'm be safe anywhere. I'm gonna get jumped on by like probably like 50 kids. There's a 60 rogue, man. Come on, cut me some slack. Oh, this is a world quest spot. I actually just realized that. I'm too scared to jump down. I really am. I, I don't want to get killed by a 60 rogue. It's one thing to die to that 60 druid. Another thing to die to a freaking scumbag rogue. Then I'll have to make another video on making rogue suffer again. Assassin Arms Warrior. I wonder how many, how much big my cast bolts are gonna hit once I hit 60 on this turn. Oh, it's full honor gear. I don't want to die to a rogue, please. Let me get my stuff set up. Uh, well, I'm not gonna get this off now. Yep. gateway out either way i somehow lived <laughs> 24k damage and i didn't even really do anything i'm not gonna lie that fell thing actually hits insanely hard Don't do it. Don't do it. I know you're thinking about it. Don't do it, please. Bro, I'm not. I'm on edge, man. I don't trust Alliance players. WBM again.
Bro, I swear it never works. There we go, finally. One-on-one cast ball, quick! That was really, really hard to beat. I'm like constantly either stunned or interrupted there. One of those matches where I'm glad I'm with a melee. Alliance everywhere, and there's like four of them here. There's a hunter, there's a demon hunter. And there's a paladin. Almost halfway to 59 now. Bro. No. Ah, whatever. Made the queue just in time. So we're all gonna have a demon hunter.
And you got to look at it and get away there. But we beat a Havoc Demon Hunter and our Sub Rogue, so that's good. I probably should have ran Reflect there, so I could, but I wasn't expecting rain from above. Don't even think about it. No, you're thinking about it. Don't even think about it. Grab this, though. We'll probably check Battle Rooms again at some point, but so far the arena has been going pretty well. Just got kicked for losing a base in a 1v4. That's actually sad. I got kicked from a soul shuffle earlier. I don't think it was from anybody, but that would that would, was completely sad. Oh, it was an RBG? I thought it was I thought you were talking about random. But yeah, rated backgrounds are well known to kick people as well. Looks like it's just a Windwalker monk. I'm guessing he wants to 1v1, so I guess I'll let him 1v1. I'll let him 1v1. Fury Warrior versus a Windwalker Monk. heal first. I know it's not really technically a full fight because he used all his cooldowns, but uh, I'm going to try to make it work.
And there we go. <laughs> oh, man. I know he didn't have karma up or anything, but still. I honored the 1v1. Specs not broken. Exactly, man. Buff destruction warlocks. We need. A war I, we're not really OP enough. Please buff miss more. I don't think destruction is that OP enough. <laughs> oh man. Oh, looks like we are doing battle grounds now. All right. Hey, Henrik, how's how's it going? Just level up some destruction, and we are back to battle grounding. Watch the first battle grounds probably gonna be battle for Gilness. Shadows no more. I really hate it when I uh, wish I didn't, but hey, it's classic to BC for me. Hey, as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters, really. If you don't like something, just don't play it. That's kind of the way I feel like when if somebody just like generally like because I always see comments and like because uh, I always watch other people's vi uh, videos and stuff as well, and then people are always like, Why are you still playing this expansion? Why, like, you should just quit and all that. I'm like, Why are you here if you hate the game so much? You know what I mean. You learn to live with retail or you don't. Simple as that. I'd say that's probably pretty accurate. I've liked every expansion except for probably BFA and Shadowlands. But I obviously I have personal favorites what I would rate 10 times higher than any other expansion. I wouldn't play them probably uh, classic again unless it was like Pandaria though. Like if there was a classic, a classic Pandaria, I would play that. But I feel like for Burning Crusade and Classic, those were like a one-time deal for me. Which is probably why I never really went back and played them. It's true. Glad yeah, you still play it though. <laughs> yeah. Play what you like. 100%. If you enjoyed the Burning Crusade and Classic, then by all means, play that. It's the same for Shadowlands. I'm just... I'm too stubborn to give it up. I just think of like all the effort I put into this tune and to the, into my tunes and the account, and I'm just like, you know what? I put in so much work, I might as well stay. You know what I mean? SL is better than BFA. Honestly, they're both trash. But if I had to pick an option, I would probably pick BFA over Shadowlands. Uh, favorite respect for Warlock, Affliction, and Destruction are my favorites. I, I can't stand demo. I hate demo. So they could make it really OP, which they did until they nerfed it. Uh, and I still wouldn't play it personally. I just realized this is a 3v3. I didn't even realize that. Whoops. Yeah, whatever. 
the corruption was too broken. Is it really that much different than what we're de dealing with right now? Resolve trinkets, tier pieces, double legendary. <laughs> it's not that much different. Just my honest opinion, of course. The only difference with that patch is you only had to deal with corruption. This one you had to deal with double legendary. Four set tier pieces. And duelist players. Which is why I'm rating BFA over Shadowlands. I gotta put down my portal. I forgot to do that. Oops. Alright, here we go. Let's try and one-shot some people. You get one shot, but through the. Ooh. I was wondering why my fear didn't go off. He was too far away, even though I casted it. Demon Hunter's just AFK for whatever reason. Or lagging. Yeah, my fear wasn't going off, otherwise I could have peeled that a lot better. Regardless though, still a win. I was not expecting a 3v3, but I forgot we're queuing with the third, and he's a healer, so. You want to triple DPS it? <laughs> I don't think it matters for this bracket. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it really matters what you queue for in this bracket. But I can re us if you want. Hey, do you have any advice for a guy new to WoW and never played PvP? Um, I feel like that's a tough question to ask. I mean, not ask or to answer. I feel like you're just gonna, you're gonna. Uh, it's probably gonna be rough for the. I feel like the best advice to give. It's probably gonna be really, really rough for the beginning, uh, since you're um, new to WoW PvP. So, I would say don't get discouraged quick. It does get better in time. That's probably the best, single best advice to give. Um, it just, it's going to be rough at the start, but it does kind of get better over time. I know, ironically, I said, <laughs> some people might be laughing at that statement, but it is true. It does get a little bit better with time. Um, I would suggest also getting your four set and your double legendary as quick as you can as well. Those are going to be the most important things. I play PvE for this expansion, but never PvP because I get afraid of people. You know, one other thing I could suggest, um, I would suggest doing epic battlegrounds. Those are more so where, like, there's a huge amount of groups of people, and you won't really be as afraid in there. You'll be, like, you'll be able to hide behind people, you'll be near people at all times. I feel like that might be better, and uh, once you get uh, more comfortable with PvP, you can do other stuff like randoms and brawls and stuff, but... Maybe start off with epic battlegrounds, and uh, once you're more comfortable with that, you can open up to different areas, like uh, raided, random, sprawls, stuff like that. I feel like that might uh, work be uh, best for you.
I feel like 40 mans are generally a lot less stressful to people, and personally, that's why it, they're my favorite thing. So I feel like, just kind of like based on what you said, that's why I feel like that's probably the best thing for you, in my opinion. Please don't jump me. Please don't jump me. Thank you. I'm not wanting to be jumped. Oh, I gotta go over here. Whoops. Irritation sucks in PvP because you get lost when you use this and that. Well, if it kind of makes you feel any better, rotation in PvP isn't really set in stone. There, I feel like there generally isn't a set rotation for PvP. Some people might disagree with me on that, but PvP is like so hectic, you never know what's going to happen. Like, nobody's just going to let you do your full rotation. It's just not going to happen. But, um... There is kind of like a general rotation for PvP, but there also isn't, if that kind of makes sense. So, if you kind of feel lost, it's just, I wouldn't really worry too much about it. Uh, just because, like I said, there's not really like a set rotation for PvP. Ironically enough, I, I, I should probably use another example, because my main's a Feral Druid, right? Say, like, I get my full rotation on somebody, they could just carry and potion it off, or they could end up being, like, a dwarf and completely remove my entire rotation. So that's kind of, like, another reason, like, in the end, rotations doesn't really exist in PvP. Obviously, there's stuff you can do, but there's definitely no set rotation for PvP. You're going to be wanting to, like, fear somebody, to stun somebody, to circle on somebody... You know, stuff like that. Basically, the more you practice, the more you'll kind of get used to it. Which is kind of like, goes back to the whole epic backgrounds thing that you were um, worried about because you haven't PvP'd or anything. I would say, just get more practice there and you'll get more comfortable with it and you'll know what to use in certain situations. I got three, or three healers. Oh, blood DK. Interesting. 22k Windwalker Monk. Where's their healer? I'm gonna put Lily here on set focus. Alright, big damage time, big damage, let's go. Uh, more coil than both. Cast bolts. Cast bolts. Greater faded, lucky. Why haven't you leveled a lock before now? Because uh, I already have a lot of 60s and three, four of them I've given up on because gearing sucks and uh, I've just been too addicted to my mains and I've gotten addicted to blood, uh, not blood DK, I've been addicted to uh, frost DK. My warrior's another example. I got him to 60 last night and he's already getting shelled. <laughs> so. Just because gearing sucks. Oh, Lily still hasn't died yet. Now she has.
Now they're gonna get that one. Uh, let's find a good spot to drop a port at. Where would be a good spot? Um, I can drop one right here. We'll take a little bit of fall damage, but whatever. Oh, they got lava. We need to go get that. I'm having too much fun killing priest stealers. Go, go, go! Bonds of fell. Cataclysm. He's down. We put sore on him. What is that bone spell, dude? The bone spell? Are you talking about Bonds of Fell? It's the only thing I can think of. I'm completely out of it, so I'm trying to think of what you're saying, but... The only thing that can that reminds me of the bones thing is like Frost Mages. Better. We're gripped again. Good vibe, Blood DK. Enjoy the graveyard. Alright, lava time. Say, really trying to camp our graveyard. I don't know if we're going to be able to get lava, to be honest. Yeah, forget it. It's not worth it.
Oh, I put it way too close to the edge. I was trying to go sneak attack. Oh, man. I put it too close. I deserve that. Whatever. Should have actually planned out a little bit better. Or set it up later. Oh, this is a perfect spot for an AoE. Can't reach down there with bonds of fill, really? Just like that, we won. That was actually, <laughs> I kept pouring back and forth up there. That actually was a really good spot. I like that spot for this map. Nine kills and zero deaths. And it worked out perfectly. Almost level 59. One more level after that. Alright, one more level to go.
That's right, back away slowly there, Warlock. Very slowly walk away. Probably won't get any more skim. It's because we made so many people quit from that already. <laughs> Plus, I don't think there's enough to do a three person or, or skim, anyways. So, I'm just gonna be waiting for some cube hour round pops. Okay, well, apparently I jinxed myself, so never mind. Why do I. I swear the game likes to prove me wrong. Whatever. I think the game did that on purpose. Alright, so Hero and focus. Uh, we're gonna kill the D-Miner first. First we ducked on the port right there. Mortal Coil. Chaos Bolt. Alright, Demon Hunter's down. Perfect. Could have gone a lot smoother, but you know, win's a win. Decided to give up on the Shaman Gore. <laughs> joining the Priest Club, are we? Technically a Shadow, so I guess you're not joining this Priest Club, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, people always give up on their Shamans, man. It's not a very popular class. I forgot to grab the freaking quest because it was out of the arena skin. Whoops. Oh. So to get. I have to go re-grab the NPC again. Ugh. Well, either way, now that I have to got, the, <laughs> got the NPC, let's go kill the stuff again. I gotta remember the cues uh get rid of the NPC.
Gore, you need to make up your mind, man. When you rejoin on a 60, it's gonna remove us from the queue. Then you guys have at it. You can join. We just queued, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but. Alright. If you really want to join, you can, though. It's not that big of a deal. We'll just have to re queue. But if you switch so many times, you need to, you need to make up your mind. Probably be 60 soon anyways because I'm already four bars in and then during the questing. I mean, I'll be questing during the queue, so. Brain has no idea. I guess I understand. I mean, I have so many alts as it is. I definitely understand how it feels. Iberb is still here, man. Oh my gosh, she's stubborn. Alright, I'm gonna be right back, though. I don't want... I'll accept the queue, but I'll be right back real quick before, uh... Hopefully the background starts. Just in time. They have a geared holy pally and anybody else who's geared. Pretty geared huh? 28k hunter? You serious? That's nuts. She's gonna kill everybody. Alright, I'll take this Berserker, thank you very much. Now we'll drop a... Eh, we're not gonna drop it there. Is nobody coming middle? Non-middle group? Can you even set down a portal from here? Probably not, can you? Yeah, I figured. We have to do it up there. Probably should have done it up there, but that's fine. Okay. 
I just accidentally pushed the five key bind by by panic. That was a stupid mistake on my part, but. I clearly definitely picked the worst spot here. I should have put down a uh, gateway. I kind of panic. I'm panicking a little bit. Very bad panic. I think it's time to run. I don't think I'm going to get away though. Warrior. Too afraid of spell reflect, I'm not gonna lie. Spell reflect is really No, I could have killed her! I could have killed her! I could have killed her, but the freaking alliance came last second. Oh well. I really panicked that, I'm not gonna lie. I, I panicked way more than necessary. When you panic, you make dumb moves and mistakes like that. Alright. Uh... Guess we can go quarry. I'm honestly not sure where most of our team is this game. Where is our team? Need more people at quarry. I have too many melee on me as well, so it's gonna like how many melee do they have? One, two, three, four, five. Five melee, but more if you include hunters. Bro, I'm kind of over this warrior. I'm not going to lie. I've never been... Get wrecked, dumb warrior. 
They kicked her. Twice. At least I finally got my revenge. When we took long enough. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three. We have three bases. Good. Almost got all my cooldowns. Maybe we can take middle too. But nah, I'll stick with the three for now. Possible two incoming farm apparently. I don't see anybody. Oh, never mind. I see him now. Let's go for the mage first. Intrapoli! No, he cycloned him! Well, there went my, ban my damage. Oh, he drank a power ground potion. Oh man. Wait, did he? He remounted. Don't let him get away. There's ice block. We have a warrior though, so he can just shatter and throw. I will build some shards up though. And there we go. Where's that annoying warrior at, by the way? I haven't even seen her. Well, she's over there. She's having a think to farm there's the holy valley found the warrior I'm going for her first she can die first Warriors down, next target. Don't do it. I'm gonna interrupt that. Too many people. Too many people. Too many. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that. They have their entire alliance team there. I think our entire team is wiped now. Yeah, we have no way there. Uh, as long as we hold the three bases, we're still good. We got a pretty decent lead. Any berserkers? I even have my cooldown still up. Oh! They probably free cast here. Yep. aren't locked apparently there we go uh, nope What does Dark Pack do? Oh, give me a second. I wasn't expecting to get rogued.
I'm gonna close this so I can see real quick. Okay, what does Dark Pact do? This is basically what it does. Uh, sacrifices 20% of my health to shield me for 250%. It's basically a really, really OP strong shield. So I lose health, but it gains me a shield. Uh, and it's very, very strong. It, it's pretty, it's very strong. That's really all there is to it. Oh, shoot. Don't go. Bad idea. Uh, let's just go ruins. I didn't even know we lost it. Sounds OP. It, it, it is. They buffed it, I think, last patch. And everybody's been running it. Because before 9.1, I believe everybody ran Demon Skin. And now everybody goes Dark Pact. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm too busy looking around. You know, I make dumb mistakes, and this is one of them. I'm dead. Amazing. Boy. I'm killing that warrior. I'm killing that warrior. That warrior's gonna die. I need to stop death pointing myself on spell reflect. I have an add-on for a reason that points to my head saying when he's reflecting and I still hit myself. I have nobody but to blame except my own stupidity. That was just, that was dumb. All right, here we go. Bro, let me get it off. Chaos Bolt, Chaos Bolt, Chaos Bolt, Chaos Bolt, Chaos Bolt. Okay. Well, I'm dead, unfortunately. I tried to go for a little bit of revenge there. And it backfired in my face. I ran up health stones and he make another one too. This has been a miserable match. I'm not gonna lie. This has been a really terrible match. I hate these kinds of battlegrounds. I, I know we're winning and all, but these battlegrounds just suck a lot. I'm still killing that warrior. I don't care what anything else. That warrior has got to die. I got him though. Do we have enough teammates here to even take it? No, we definitely don't. All right, we're leaving. We died enough here, and there's their entire team here. We're just gonna leave. I got my revenge kill. I'm satisfied. Bro, I hit him. Whatever. Fear, 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 spam. Fear, spam. Oh, hey, look. It's this guy again. Enjoy the cast bolt. That's what he gets. we won the match this was definitely a rough match but you know it's, at least it's a win
I had so much, they had so much melee just going after me the entire game. It's really hard. And I should have definitely put down a few more um, ports. I haven't built that into my brain on moving everywhere and setting up another portal. I'll definitely get better at that over time. But, uh, yeah, I definitely need to work on that. Finally won my daily battleground after four alley losses and five war losses. Oh, I feel your pain, dude. I lost almost every, well, not every, but a good majority of the battlegrounds today. Yeah, that hunter was scary. Five deaths and 14 KBs though, second on damage. Rough match, but we got the win. No, I don't got Warlock, two priests, three Mistweaver, and one mage. That's a lot of Mistweavers. I have received reports of wildlife. You like to heal? That makes a lot of sense. I wasn't sure if what the priests were healers or not, but you know, if you like something, you like something. I said this before, if you like something, that's all that matters. I got two shot it in uh, my 90k bear form by a frost mage. Yeah, if, if, if you see a frost mage that pops deathborn, run. There's no tanking it. Well, I guess you can kind of tank it, but, or like when you fight them, but I was, me and Leveldon, when we face frost mages, we literally have to run for like 40 seconds. Heck no, this is stupid. I'm out of this place. But yeah, when we face Frost Mages, Deathborn, you have to literally play a coward for 40 seconds. Deathborn is just too strong.
You gonna make three druid healers soon? That's some serious dedication to healers. Some people really like to play the same class. It's just the way, like, I know Snuppy who plays like a million druids, so. And I think Bajira plays like a million warriors, so it's just the way some people are. I wouldn't be able to do that personally, but, you know, so like I said, some people, some people do that. That could have gone so much more smoother, but you know, <laughs> at least he got it. Really gotta get some more smooth with defending myself against these melee. Tedward. What's your main right now? I think you played Balanced Ray if I remember correctly. You are correct. I did play Balance Druid until Shadowlands, and now I mean Feral. Ever since Shadowlands. So, right now, I mean Feral Druid. Feral's cool. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, there's the bite spec and there's the bleed spec. I feel like the bleed spec is way more fun in my opinion though. I never liked the bite spec that much. I can't freaking upgrade because I'm not 60 yet. Whatever. I'll just keep that until then. Oh, this is something I desperately have been wanting to try out. Oh, this is going to be so good. I can't wait to try this. Alright, we're going to try Bane of Havoc. And, uh... We're gonna we're gonna try Bane of Havoc and Bonds of Fell on this map with the Cataclysm. There's gonna be so much AoE. It's gonna be bonkers. I've been wanting to I've been so interested in trying out on this map. This is gonna be very, very fun. I hope anyways. 
And we have no healers versus their three. What a surprise. You know, one day I think we'll have some healers. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, put the food right there. What does Vons of uh, Vons of Fell do? Um, here you go. No, you don't have to worry about it. If you if you want to ask questions, you can. That's what it does. Vons of Fell is new this expansion, so not a lot of people know about it. So. Basically, if anybody leaves the ring, it explodes. It's kind of similar to, like, Ring of Fire and all that stuff. And Ring of Frost. Alright, hopefully I'll actually get to be able to do stuff here because... We don't have any healers, so if we get instant wiped, then my plan is ruined. I, I've been waiting for this map to pop ever since MQ randoms and now it's finally popped I'm really I've seen other warlocks do this and I've wanted to do it for my with my um for, with my warlock so we'll see we'll see I'm hoping this will work out as good as I think it will but it probably be better at 60 obviously but you know we'll see we'll see Okay, well, I don't think it worked as much as I would hope so, and I think our entire team did get wiped. Oh, I didn't even, my Havoc thing didn't even drop. Why didn't it drop? My Havoc button's not working. Is it because it's a macro? Oh, whatever. I'll have to fix that. Give me a second. I don't know why, it, is it not working? Because it's a macro? I think my macro literally screwed my plans up. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I wasn't, I didn't think the macro would screw it up. Whatever. I'll fix that, uh, I fixed that and so it'll hopefully work better now. I was wondering why it wasn't working. I thought, I thought I had timed everything right and everything, but nope. Does it work now? Okay, it works now. It was the, it was the macro. That's good to know for the future. I have to get rid of my macro if I want to run that town. Now I know that. I got too excited. I guess I should have actually kind of expected something like that anyways more on the story now I know okay here we go bonds of fell check curse check now let's do some chaos bolts Oh yeah, that is now that is more like it. That is definitely more like it. That's what I've been wanting to do this entire time. There we go. That's that's much better. That is much better. this havoc damage I absolutely obliterated so many of their health I love this talent on this map this talent is like best in slot for this map 100%
Are you going to play Lock and Arena? Probably. I'm going to have to if I want to gear it. It just depends on whether or not I enjoy it so much that I'll actually put decent effort in gearing this tune. Because it might end up being like my warrior and just get shelved, so I don't know. I can't really fully answer that question, but if I do enjoy it, yep, I will be doing Arena at some point. And hating my life while doing it, because <laughs> I don't like Arena. But, you know, it's the only way to gear. Unfortunately... But it is on the plan list for right now. Well, I don't have... Okay. Actually, I could have soul shaped there. Oh my god. I don't have gliders on this tune. Oh, I need gliders. This is the one tune that doesn't have gliders. If you ever need a partner who's a rest droid, I have one. Sounds good. Year two. Alright. It's gonna take me a bit to get this tune ready for arenas anyways, because I have to get my double legendary. I have to get my four set. I have to um you know, I have to get my honor gear up because there's a lot of geared people at low rating, so I have to get this tune and it's gonna be a bit since I have before I even get ready anyways, so unfortunately. Bro, that talent actually is insane. It's getting so many people low. Trinket, mortal coil to get some of my health back. I don't have enough uh, good to get double legendary on my uh, gold to get double legendary on my ults. Star and Shadowlands. Oh man, yeah. If you're on a dead realm like me, you have to pay freaking 250k gold just to get a freaking legendary. And that's for one. Imagine needing two. It's so stupid. That's why I, I don't have a lot of ults that are really like geared and just abandon them, you know what I mean? Alright, it's time for big damage. Big damage. By big damage, I mean that didn't work out at, at all. Oh, that big chaos boots! That includes the rest of it. Yeah, I, honestly, Blizzard, I think, just made this whole uh, legendary system with this tokens in mind. Uh, I feel like the the whole gold system, the legendary system, they make you just want to buy, uh, they buy tokens so you can make your legendaries. I'm not going to lie, I kind of cheat and that's what I do to get my legendaries. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's so stupid. I'm glad it's been gone in Dragonflight. Oh dang, that bonds of fell damage is nuts. Two sixty five is not bad. Like if you can't get two ninety one. It's not. I feel like 265 is still pretty good. Even if you can't get 291. Realistically, the main advantage of the double legendary is the effect it does. Unless you're, like, say, a feral druid who's 
Necrolord coming in at Legendary sucks. <laughs> then I use it for the stats, but... Yeah. Oh, this is not good. <sighs> Thank you, fast reflexes. Oh my gosh, I get stuck on everything. I was running arenas on my restricted today and guy offered to give me the uh, gold, but he was not on my realm and had no characters on my realm. Yeah, some people are nice like that, but it all comes down to like, yeah, they're not on your realm. But honestly, even if somebody asked, I probably wouldn't take it anyways. So... Lock best caster, uh, defense for PvP, great for defending points. Yeah, I mean, they're, they, cause, that's because they have a pet and everything. So what's the best uh, way to get gold for a Lego? I'm probably the wrong person to ask because I just do tokens. <laughs> That's the fastest and easiest way. Other than that, it's just your standard professions. I'm gonna die. This hunter has been constantly on my freaking behind the entire match. There's nothing I can do. I'm dead. Uh, March Mentors are the most annoying thing to face. Okay, that's a lie. They're not the most annoying thing to face, but I definitely do not like facing them. Almost there, 40 more percent and then max level.
Oh shoot, I better switch talents too. I forgot to switch it. Uh, Belfisher, I think, was I ran before. Yeah, I 100% agree, Henry. I like backgrounds that you can go off and do your own stuff as well. Which is why I do epics. I can't say I blame them. They're playing the oh, I'm gonna camp here strats. You guys are gonna have to come out and play whenever you feel like it. PC can't run epics. Oh, that sucks. It's a shame you're missing out. They're actually fun. Oh, I forgot the freaking. Yeah, they're very fun. Here. Our burb is still here. Big surprise. Oh, my havoc macros over there. I think I made a mistake here. I shouldn't have pulled up too many. I think I'm gonna die here. Uh, I have nothing left up. Oh, but at least they keep up. I need to stop being so crazy. I'm a little bit too patient in when it comes to things. I just magically pull everything. Although it would help if I had my Void Walker out, but I'm too busy queuing arenas. Alright. Oh, in an arms. Yeah, I'm a little bit too patient. Whenever it comes to raiding, PvE, whatever, I just go ballistic and pull everything. I don't really think about the consequences of my actions, and then I end up dying. It's a very stupid thing I do, but I'm not much of a questing person. I'd rather, I'm more of like a go, 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 go type of person. So, even when I shouldn't, I end up doing it anyway, so... Oh, I forgot to put it on my bars again. Yippee. And 
And that is that. I understand because I do it too. I hate PV so much. Yeah. Like, it, there, there's some things you can do it easily on, but that was just, that was terrible. Don't even think about it, Rogue. I know you're thinking about it. Don't even think about it. Okay, I didn't mean to walk into that. I was too tunnel focused. Chaos bolts. Goodbye. And there we go. What specs would you re recommend for double DPS twos? Um, well, I made I did Demon Hunter Ret to two point one k, and I did Barrel to, and Ret to two point one k. So those worked pretty well. Uh, the Ret Paladin wasn't me; it was my friend. But both my Demon Hunter and my Feral I had two point one up to hit with him. Uh, Mage and Rogue is an obvious given one. Um. Other than that, those are the only ones that I personally have hit high rated with, so. 
but I'm sure other people in chat can give their opinions as well. But those are my choices. We never have any healers, but they have freaking four. I need to get rid of my freaking macro because it's going to bug me. Like it read so far. I would recommend checking out Lobo He's the he's the red I ran 2.1 with, and he's a ret main, so he'll he will be able to answer all your ret questions. He's really good at ret, and he actually just hit gladiator yesterday. He got a second gladiator. Are you doing that OP thing again for the storm? Probably not. I feel like it could have been a lot better, but it wasn't as good as I originally was hoping. Maybe I just got a bad group, I don't know, but I'm just gonna stick with my normal build. I didn't even get a chance to really do anything. <laughs> well, either way, we destroyed him. I'll take it. I didn't even literally do- I don't even think I did anything. That was just a slaughter. And they got our flag in two bases. I think somebody went to the wrong tower with the flag.
Oh, that was a sick knockoff. That was a sick knockoff, whoever did that. Is Love Wood on your friend or your brother? Dumb question, but always wondered. Uh, he's just a friend. My brother plays WoW, but um, he's mostly pve -er. What's the best healer other than Holy Priest, PvP focused? That's a good question because I was gonna say Holy Priest. <laughs> probably Druid or Shaman if I had to guess to be honest actually. I would say probably Druid maybe. Of all the people that get sapped, it has to be me. Are you gonna open up on me or what, what's your plan, buddy? You gonna sap me again? Didn't think so. I bet he's over there. I'm gonna wait and see if I can target him anytime. I knew it. He's too predictable. Too predictable, Mr. Rogue. Here's my plan. Let's send the pet over there. I don't want him to I don't want to scare him. Plan has been failed. I scared him away. Oh, this is definitely not good. If the healer wasn't there, oh my god, dude, I hate, why do healers have to ruin the fun, dude? They have to ruin the fun. I could have 1v2'd those, 1v2'd both of them. But nope, Holy Pally comes in to be a hero. He was so close to dying. If he didn't get healed last second there, he would have died to dots. Holy Pally thinks he's a hero.
can't believe that rogue almost died too. He didn't even cloak. He probably wouldn't have died actually. I can't tell what that guy's doing. Interrupt convoke. Where's that Holy Pal yet? Oh, is that Maze Tower? Uh, don't freaking sap. Which one? Which rogue is it? It's that rogue. Good riddance. Kind of over it. And 326k damage, 10 kills, and one death. Not too bad. I feel like Resto Dre is better than Resto Sham because Dre can handle Demon Hunter better and has Tranquility Immune. Tranquility Immune is nice, but it's not always good. You can even die through it. I've killed so many Dre's through Tranquility. Oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, dots and unmissable attacks. Yep, that is true. Of course, not every class can do that, but you know. Okay, now that the fact that there is a level 60 here, we need to bail. Is he trying to kill an affliction lock? He's trying to kill an affliction lock. I believe in you, affliction lock. Affliction dream. I actually really want to play Affliction a little bit too though at some point. Just got a Feral to max level and even with not great gear they're fun. Your vids inspire me. Thanks man. I'm glad you're enjoying the kitty man. Feral Druid is amazing. It's so much fun too. Almost 60 soon. I probably got about an hour, so as soon as I hit 60, I'll probably do some 60 stuff. Uh, and then I'm probably going to end stream after that. I know I've had a billion people ask me how many, t uh, like, how do I gear my tunes. So I'll probably show you guys a little bit of a demonstration on how I gear my ults uh, as soon as I hit 60, since I'm close. And then probably end stream there because I'm going to be getting food soon. I come seeking Nala, so it's the best counter to kill a Holy Priest. They are immortal. Unfortunately, nothing. But if I had to guess, probably an Assassination Rogue is probably the easiest, in my opinion.
Oh, this is not good. No, I tried to be a little bit slick there. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit too painful. Uh, I didn't, I didn't put down my ports at the start, so that was kind of on me. Thanks. Oh, yeah, okay, trying out the great videos. Love them. Glad you enjoy them. That was a very messy bad start. But yeah, I feel that pain. Holy priests are literally like. Probably my mortal enemy, but if I have to be honest, I think in the end uh, Assassination would probably be the easiest to kill a holy priest on I don't think priests can dispel poisons. I don't remember if they can or not. I'm pretty sure they can't So And not to mention uh, rogues have an insane amount of like ways to deal and stun lock people So you could probably kill them in a stun eventually. It'll take a bit, but you can definitely probably kill them in the stun Warrior might be able to too with a healer No, they can't Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of out of options. Well, I just definitely think that's my, uh, of course, my opinion. I welcome you. It is an honor. Man, there's so many lights in the zone. It's actually crazy. Where the heck is that freaking quest at? Maybe somewhere around here. Here it is. And he's dead. These two have been together for ages.
And there we go. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. We farmed those two all day, almost all day so far. That's like the millionth time we've been facing them. I genuinely feel a little bit bad. Well, must be nice. Imagine being a 60 and one-shotting a level 59. That's real, real proud. At least I managed to get the Q still. That's the second time a 68 has freaking just deliberately killed me. <laughs> I won't have my Inferno for this first team fight, but that's fine. Gonna make it work somehow. They have a pretty geared team. 25k Warlock. Uh, yeah, they have a pretty stacked team. Let me put down my portal. They didn't go Lava? Oh, they're going middle hard. Rest in peace, middle. Nobody went middle on our team. What's the PvP add on at the top? It shows damage and rank. Uh, it's called a Mongomon.
I doubt we'll be able to get mill, but I guess it's worth a shot. There's so many people here. Yeah, we're definitely not getting it. It's like freaking five people here. Uh, I at least kind of want some practice in. I'm just gonna freaking go for it. Why not? I need some practice. Practice has been achieved. Man, pressing chaos bolt is insanely hard. <laughs> Oh, man. I honestly wasn't expecting that, but that was kind of funny. No greater power bus for you. No chaos bolt, apparently, for me. Well, I'm dead. Yep, almost 60. I'm literally a bar away. Though I don't think I was gonna I'm gonna get it this match. Well, at least I'm more called that guy just in time. Is a decent way to level up. No, they're not. But I am also doing it because one, I'm a PvP -er. I enjoy the PvP. That's the main reason why I do it. Second is you want to get to as close to max honor camp before you hit max level as possible. As close as possible. You're gonna want all that honor to gear your level 60. If it's your first tune at 60, what's the best way to go about endgame? Well, for PvP, you're going to want to get your double legendary and your 262 piece. And then, um, after that, you just get your honor gear. For PvE, I'm not sure, but that's for PvP. Bro, I freaking... I'm dead. Gosh darn it. Freaking aim shot. What LMO do you think you'll be able to get with 15k? I'll show you once I uh, hit max level. For PvP, yeah, just get your double legendary and your 262 piece from the auction house and then just grind honor gear and then after that is just grind conquest and arena rating. And that's pretty much it. It's simple, but it's very, very hard once you get into the I have to find our um, get arena rating territory if you're hitting 60 for the first time and you're going straight to PvP I can tell you now it won't be playing well <laughs> yeah I've, it's a pain but 
Just depends, I guess, on the determined you're about to go about it. It's definitely rough for sure, though. The item level, the item level gap between a duelist player and when you're first 60 is massive. Even an honor gear versus con um, or duelist gear is still pretty big. I'm grinding out gear PvP and it's a pain. I still haven't gotten a second conquest piece. Yeah, it's pretty rough. If you do all the weekly PvP, PvP quests and along with daily wins, you could probably get two or three conquest pieces a week though. That's if you do all the daily, uh, the weekly daily PvP quests and your daily wins in the brawl, the epic, and the random. winning the brawl on the swing a lot i tried no thank you i'm not gonna lie the, as much as i love warsong the brawl is so annoying it's hard to do or don't run tanks in that brawl and alliances tend to have apparently two to three tanks every single time do mythic plus as well for tier in the great vault i usually just uh, change my conquest pieces into tier to be honest I actually do want to play Affliction, but I don't know when I'll play it. Because I know, here's the issue, I'm going to be using Destruction Legendary. So that means I'm going to have to farm a third Legendary for Affliction. And I don't know when I'm going to be doing that. But I do love Affliction. Probably more than Destruction if I'm being honest. But I'm only playing Destro just to really irritate people. <laughs> so I do want to play Affliction in my, uh, a little bit more. How's Ellie Sham? They're actually very, very good right now. They're not the strongest caster, but they're not bad. I'd probably put... I don't know where to rank Ellie. I feel like, they're, like I said, they're not bad, but they could be like... They, they could be like... I, I, I don't know, it's just tough. I'm getting the freaking heck out of here before I get one shot by another 60. Yeah, Affliction is sick. I love riding down enemies. Yep. So, gonna turn in this quest, and then I'll show you guys how I gear up my ult to 60. I have probably, like I said, in like maybe an hour, and then I'll be at... What would make them better? I'm going to try out the mastery build. Um, I'd probably have to check out Tickle's channel if you want more advice on Ellie, because my shaman's probably like my least played tune. So, yeah. You would have to check out his channel. Alright, so I get asked this question millions of times. It's finally time to show you guys how I gear my alts. <laughs> first things first. Alright, I'm 15k honor capped. So, here's my plan, right? I have to keep in mind about legendaries. Play it a lot more. I wish I could, but he's off, he's my last non-60. But anyways, so I have to keep in mind uh, what I'm going to do with legendaries, right? I'm going to make unity on my boots, and I'm going to make madness on my gloves. So here's what I'm going to do. Obviously, first things first, I'm going to buy the weapon. 
Uh, and then after that, I will be buying the helmet. And then after that, the shoulders. And then I'll be buying the chest. I will be buying the bracers. And I won't be buying the gloves because I'm going to get the legendary. So I'm going to save my honor by not buying gloves. That's rule number one. And since I'm making a, a certain legendary, I'm going to ignore the gloves. Yes, the gloves I have suck, but it's better than wasting honor for no apparent reason. Since I'm going to be replacing it soon. Then after that, you buy the belt. After that, I'll be buying the pants. And since I will be getting another legendary for boots, I will not be buying boots. So we skip that. Then we buy the necklace. And then obviously we buy the cloak. I buy one ring because I'm getting 262 piece from the auction house. Buy the uh, PvP trinket. And here's another, here's another thing. Um, I'm going to be doing the new zone, and the new zone gives me a 262 conquest, uh, conquest trinket, so I don't need to buy two trinkets, I only need to buy one. So there we go. Uh, let me put this all on right now. Put all of my gear on now. So with all of that, I got I got the helm, I got the necklace, I got the shoulders, I got the cloak, I got the chest, I got the bracers, I got the weapon. I didn't buy the gloves because I'm going to be making my legendary. I got the belt, I got the pants, I got the... Uh, I didn't get the boots because I'm um, making a double legendary so the other one will be for boots. I didn't buy a second ring because I'm going to buy a 262 one. And I got one ring... I got the trinket, which apparently I forgot to put on. Put that on. There we go. And I will be buying. Uh, I won't be buying a second trinket simply due to the fact that the vendor will. Get, I mean, the quest will give me one from the new zone. And that is my plan right now. And now, how much honor do I still have? I didn't buy so much gear because of my legendary and trinket. I still have 6,600 honor. So what I do next is I put my weapon all the way to max rank. A freaking course. I'm not renowned 59. Are you serious? Well, okay. That plan backfired on me. I'm not renowned 50, 59. That's depressing. Okay. Well, that's embarrassing. But, you know, you get my point. For you, what character is more fun to play at the moment? I would say Druid. I'm not gonna lie, I had this big brain plan and I didn't hit renowned uh, 59. Usually I'm renowned 59 plus before I hit max level. That was uh, that was a uh, backfire. I was not expecting that. All right, let's get rid of all this junk now. Okay. And like I said before, the next step you're going to want to do, well, at least for me, you go to the auction house, you go find a versatility ring, and for me, I want haste, so I buy this, and voila. And now, since I'm here, I might as well get my uh, legendary thing. can't believe how much cheaper cloth stuff is how do you make gold simple tokens because i'm lazy <laughs> all right what do i got uh start off with the enchants blah 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 i still can't believe i didn't have ren enough renown that's embarrassing that's depressing that hurts my soul Uh, weapon. Did the price of the Legos no go down? No, it just depends on what you are, um, what you're gonna get. Um, I have to get like literally everything. I 
I can show you how scary some certain stuff is. Give me a minute. Uh, okay, here's an example. Uh, I actually had to buy bracers for my Death Knight, and they were 250k. They actually went down 100k, which is... <laughs> of course, they go down when I'm, uh, when I don't need it anymore, but this was 250k at some point. So... Yeah. Let me fix my mog at least. That way I don't look like a freaking trash can. Hi, by doing Zeref Morris Quest on you will upgrade renown quickly. Yep, that is correct. I just unfortunately I did hit 60. Um usually by um before I hit max level, I'm like renowned 60 plus, so. Alright, uh, I forgot to freaking buy a gem spot. Whoops. I'll go for the haste route. Why not? More haste, the better, right? Uh, I will be try uh, I'll be showing you a little bit more on stream before I like I said I have to go uh, what I do with my ults but yeah I'm hoping this will get um, I did obviously make a video on it and everything but hopefully you guys kind of get the general idea are you going to play Wrath of the Lich King classic probably I don't really 100% know for sure though It'll probably just be something I won't really play too often, though. Do you know what a Covenant Red Pal I should choose? Uh, Necrolord. Uh, I forgot what I was going to do. My, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, okay, I think I know what I was going to do. Let's see. Nope, that's not right. Uh, which one is it? Gotta be something. Oh, it's right here. Cool. Finally, I get my gliders back. Hooray! First things first, I gotta go kill the boss before I forget to do it because it needs my legendary. Uh, Marksman Hunter, Necro, or Venthyr. Um, it's personal preference. Both are really good. I don't think you can go wrong with either, but I prefer Necro Lord because my, uh, my Hunter's Necro Lord. But I don't think there's any uh, wrong answer for that. Actually, I feel like uh, Kyrian could be good as well uh, for Marksman. Hunters don't really have a lot of bad covenants. I might as well do this before I forget. I need to kill the boss. I'll do the quest line and we're golden. Kyrian looks sick for Marksman. I got hit by a freaking 50k aim shot. I hope so. What is Necro's legendary? Trying to find it. I can't show you. I don't think I can show you on this tin. But it's actually really, really strong. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, I can't find it on this tin for some reason. Or on the book. So I, I can't really show you. But uh, it, it basically does um, explosive shot when you use your covenant ability.
Come on. Slow NPC. Let's go. Almost all of my tunes are Necrolord, so I keep forgetting about the whole Night Fae thing. Night Fae is really good for Warlocks, so... I'm not used to Night Fae. Because literally, like, 99% of my tunes are Necrolord. <laughs> It's kind of funny that they make you do like the first two or three quests before you can actually skip everything. The cycle must continue. Like, I already have the abilities, man. You don't need to give me the abilities again. I already know. Like, just make me the freaking thing and move on. I grant you this boon. Become as the wild creatures. Whatever shape you require, it shall be yours. And so, I extend the queen's boon to you. That's it, right? What fun you're about to have. Apparently there's still one more piece to do. What the heck happened to my keybind? There we go. Alright, finally done with that. I'm not really sure which way I'm going to go for with the uh, soul binds yet. So. I'll just do this for now and then I'll deal with that later on. Wait a minute. Genius plan. Big brain. I forgot these all give uh, renown. So maybe I'll have enough to... Uh, to upgrade, probably not actually. I think I'll be like one short. I knew it! One short! I hate this game. <laughs> I'm one short. No. It requires one, uh, one more renown to upgrade my PvP gear. That sucks. World boss should get two or three. Yeah, I know. It'll. I have to come all the way back here, though. That's the thing. It's going to make me come all the way back here. Oh, I guess I know what I'm doing. All right, fine. I'll fly to the world boss. And then, of course, I will have to freaking walk all the way here. Because Blizzard makes you do... Here's the thing. I don't understand why they make you get renowned levels to get PvP gear or ranks. Set the stone. Yeah, I could do that, but eh, it's whatever. It's not that big of a deal. It's just kind of a dumb, in my opinion. I don't understand the whole renown thing. 
All right, Legendary from World Boss is next on the list, though. And then after that, I come back here, get the Renown 59 thing, and then upgrade the PvP gear. And then after that, I work on uh, Legendary stuff. Yeah, their flight, their flight, <laughs> their flight path system is garbage. Well, at least I don't need to do this anymore. Looks like I'm going to be working on this tune a lot. <laughs> I worked on my Death Knight and now it's time to work on a Warlock. There's like a certain affliction legendary I want. I want to see where it is. So the legendary I want is going to be from the Great Vault. Interesting. For affliction anyways. It'd be better if there was only portals there instead of flying. Yeah. They could have done this so much more better. Instead, they make you go all the way to Orbos just to go all the way to wherever death one. They could just make you go, like, to the next zone, you know? Hello, Mr. 50 Void of Rogue is behind me. You're lucky on your mount right now to kill a rogue. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm not gonna lie, I really want to try some Affliction, though. Oh, it's so tempting to play some Affliction. I've always been a dot type of person, though. I feel like dot classes are just, like, my thing. Yeah, I hit 60 on the lock today. I've been streaming for almost four hours. Are you planning on gearing this guy too? If I don't rage quit first, yeah. I wasn't paying attention. And there we go. I got my legendary. Now all I have to do is get the stuff for it.
Legendary has been achieved. I bet you anything they're probably gonna make me go all the way to back to my covenant and grab the stupid quest before I can actually get the uh, uh, before I can upgrade anything, aren't I? Guess we're about to find out. Uh, of course you are. Oh man, Blizzard, 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 your PvP freaking system is so garbage, this expansion. I got the new zone unlocked. Let's go to the Covenant again because apparently I have to go get a stupid quest before I can upgrade my PvP gear. Apparently, because apparently it's not enough that they make you do renown for it. Gotta go all the way to the Covenant. So head there again. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, your quest. We'll deal with that later. All the way back to the comments. It's such a stupid quest too. Yeah, the two... The, the, <laughs> it's so dumb. I don't understand why you need Renown to upgrade your PvP gear. And then on top of that, they force you to go all the way to the Covenant quest just to do it. There's That's just another dumb system. I should auto once you are 59, 100%. At least if you switch covenants and you have one that's already 59 plus, you don't have to go back and get it though. Warlock will be 60. Oh yeah, I already hit 60, man. I just hit 60. And now I only have one class that is not 60. Everything else is currently 60, but most of them I admit are shelved and are probably going to be party sinkers, but you know. I'm hoping this tune will be like that, but we'll see. We'll see. If anybody has been around my channel this long, will know I switch my mind all the freaking time. Nope. Surprisingly, my warrior hit 60 last night. But I'm not going to lie. He's going to get shelled. <laughs> so... I'm, I'm just not a warrior person. I thought I could get into it, but I just... I, the more I play warrior, I can't really... Uh, I can't really get into it. I, I don't think it's just designed for me, so... Yes, on purpose. I, I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I was bored. I'm not taking the flight path again. I'm taking the other way. What about Windwalker Monk? My Windwalker Monk has been 60 for probably a year now. I've j he's just been shelved. Dang it, and you know it's oh my god. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, 
right, everything is all pretty much set. The next few steps are to get my legendaries. And that is the next step. Warlocks have more health than uh, normal people. Warlocks and Death Knights always have more health than normal people do. Uh, just It's just their thing. I'll probably play for another 30 minutes, and just to give you guys a general idea on, like I said, what I do with my alt, so. I'm only just staying on a little bit, just because I want to show you guys my alt stuff, and then the rest of the stuff I'll probably, like, do off stream and stuff. Because I got to eat soon, and I've been streaming for four hours almost now at this point, so. But i just like to show you guys, like, what I do for my alts, the general idea at least, anyways. Yeah, I know, but 53k at 190 level. <laughs> but let's be realistic. 53k is definitely not going to do me anything. I'm going to get one shot by somebody. So it doesn't realistically matter. I will travel ahead. Meet me outside of Strobus Oh dang it, I missed it by a second. Ugh, whatever. It happens. Okay. How many how much haste do I have? 23% haste. Actually not bad for 195 item level. I'm not suggesting you do anything with this gear at the moment, of course, gear up. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. I'm gonna go for the uh, world boss now, start off with him. Nobody's doing the world boss, apparently. Alright, fine, start off the, uh, we'll start off the, uh, we'll start off the world boss ourselves. Well, and of course, nobody's joining. To be honest, it is a weekend. Everybody probably got, probably got their boss done by now. <laughs> and then she leaves. Alright, let's see if we can find it. Is there any other groups now? Destro or any spec affliction pretty OP and bar runs. Uh, I plan to be destruction and affliction. I, whether whichever one I like more is going to be what I go. Both affliction and destruction are really really strong at the moment. So I might just play Destro more uh, because this is probably going to be better for gearing. So. But uh, I like Affliction a little bit more.
I think regardless though, I should be fine because Destruction and uh, Affliction generally use the same stats anyways, so even if I do switch to Affliction, the only thing I'll need to switch is another Legendary because Affliction, I'll have to make a third Legendary because uh, it won't be using Destruction's Legendary. So, but I think for the general and the most part, I should be okay if I do want to play other specs besides Destruction. Uh, because they generally want the same stats anyways. Like, Destruction wants a lot of haste. I assume Affliction probably generally wants the haste as well. Uh, at least what I'm thinking anyways. So I'm not really too worried about switching. I'll just have to make another uh, legendary for it. Yeah, I like dot classes too. That's probably why I like Boomy and all that stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get destroyed by a boss because I have no gear. Amazing. Unfortunately, one of the reasons why I like uh, Affliction so much is the fact that their drain life healing is freaking amazing for solo. And Destructions, on the other hand, while we do monster damage, our healing I feel like kind of lacks a little bit. Bro, oh my gosh, please. I'm trying not to die to the, to the boss. I'm just gonna spam Drain Life. You know what? I'm not doing any damage anyways. I might as well not die. Yeah, Drain Life is OP. Yeah, 100%. I faced so many locks who wouldn't die because of Drain Life. It makes me want to go play Affliction, to be honest. But even if I wanted to, I can't get the Legendary yet. So... Alright. I'm going to delete that because I already have it. And now, onward to finish the whole uh, gearing thing. So now, here's the next step what I do for gearing my ults. I did the, I got my uh, PvP gears all done until I get my legendaries. I got the boss done. So now I just go get treasures, pretty much. And kill rares along the way. That is what I do. I get all the easy treasure chests. I already got that. Did you get that. Going all for the easy treasure chests. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm typing. Don't do it. Didn't think so. Stay the heck away from me, man. I don't even know how geared that person was, and I don't want to know. Don't pick it on an undergeared lock. Something up here, isn't there? New. Nope. Gotta get as much flux as possible. Because flux costs a lot. You need you need 4k for your legendary, and you need like another 4k for your forge piece to your set. So you gotta get a lot of flux. So having all this flux is definitely very very useful. Right now the main focus is of course the legendary, or legendaries I should say. Oh, I still forgot to t oh, I forgot to say this on stream. Um, you're gonna want to get friendly. Add this to your to your to-do list if you're having another alt you're gonna want to hit friendly with this place but you're gonna hit friendly automatically anyways and then you can go to this vendor here and buy the 226 conduits it sucks because it's only 226 and mains are like 256 plus at this point 
but um, it's an easy way to get conduits for your alts. You can get it instantly as soon as you're 60, by the way. It won't take long. Just wanted to point that tip out, though. The heck is over here? It's like something here. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Spawn, uh, spamming backgrounds gets a lot of flux. It, it, on the first win, it does. I, first wins of everything give uh, really good flux, but I feel like it dies down after that, in my opinion. I was gearing my hunter and in no time had about 15 flux. Yeah, my Demon Hunter is 80k Flux. I wish I could spin, send it to alts, but apparently Blizzard these things that sending alts Flux is not a good idea for some reason. But apparently Soul Senders and all that are fine. Don't know why. Alrighty, almost have 2k. Not bad, not bad. I'm playing Alliance at the moment, so Barragon procs uh, every, uh, pops every two to four minutes, so it's faster to farm it there. Oh, uh, yeah, that would probably explain it. I usually farm my flux and solo shuffle if I'm being honest. Solo shuffle gives like a hundred per uh, per Q and solo shuffle is actually not even that long of a Q. And solo shuffle is like the best way to gain honor if you need it to. Can you freaking slow down? Oh my god, this is tilting. Okay, thank you. But yeah, I usually get so uh do solo shuffles for the flux. I wish Green Fire was account wide. I got it back then when it came out and have it leveled. Uh, several other locks. I didn't even know it wasn't account wide. Yeah, pretty much for the most part, I just go for the easy chests. I really want to kill that rare, but I know if I go there, I'm on an alliance shard, so it's pointless. So I'm not even going to bother, unfortunately. Look, look at this. I'm, I'm always in the alliance shard. I feel like somebody at Blizzard has it out for me sometimes. Like, the amount of times I get in, Like, I can't make this stuff up. Apparently, everybody always says alliance is a dead faction, but no matter where I go... It's filled with alliance. I'm just, I, I, am I that much of a freaking bad luck? I just, I don't understand. Hey Cam, how's it going? Just gearing up the 60 Warlock. I should probably change my title to not leveling anymore. I'll fix it later. Actually, I probably don't even need to fix it because it's going to turn into a video anyways. Oh, 
Oh, that's not dead, and I'm waiting for... Uh... Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. People are saying Alliance is dead, but I, I don't see it. Maybe for, like, raided stuff, but I don't really know for sure. But, yeah, I'm starting to see a lot more Alliance lately. Okay, well, I'm going to have to end stream here because something um, came up. So, I've actually been streaming for almost over four hours anyways. But, I think you guys get the general idea on how I've geared my ults anyways. So, hopefully you guys end, uh, like the stream. And, uh, there won't be a stream tomorrow because i got some plans going on tomorrow. But, I'm going to try to stream on Monday. Um, but, yeah. So, I'll probably obviously work on this tune more off stream. And, hopefully next time I stream, you'll see how far I've gotten. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and, uh, if you want to see the leveling journey ahead, this will be a video, of course, and, uh, I'll catch you guys for the next stream.